In this video, we're gonna take a look at one of the strategies that seems to be fairly consistent among the best traders that we've seen who are winning the Trading Cup Challenges and also the Grand Final. What we're talking about is a technique called pyramiding. Pyramiding is simply adding to winning positions. Now, I'm gonna get, not slightly technical, but I'm gonna reference something from a trading coach, one of, one of a trading coach you'll be very familiar with, Dr. Van Tharp, and he talks about something called R multiples. And all that is, is the amount of risk that you're willing to take on as being one R. If you're willing to risk $200 on a trade, then that's one R. And then we refer to the upside potential, if you won $600, and you're risking 200, then that's a three R win. It's that simple. So we talk about risk reward in terms of R multiples. Now it just gets a little bit easier to talk in reference about pyramiding if we look at R multiples, because some systems uh, lend themselves to actually benefiting from pyramiding into trades while others don't. For example, in stage two of the Trading Cup Trading Challenge, so the J July month Trading Challenge, we have Zen Wang who has traded his account and he's only taken a couple of positions and he's pyramid into a successful trending gold market. Gold has broken out from around 1810 to nine, over 1950. It's been an incredible move and he pyramid into that position four times. Pyramiding simply means he took an initial position, then as it moved in his favor, he took a second position. It moved in his favor again, took a third position, and moved in his favor again and took a fourth position. Now this particular technique, if you've read anything about the turtle traders, you'll understand that one of the successes of their methodology was how they added into winning positions. Back then their technique was something called, they used a technique called half N, which was actually, refer, it's basically a reference to the average true range the market moves. So they would actually add to their winning position for every half daily movement. Okay, so if a market, if gold's moving $10 a day, half the average daily movement would be $5. So they would pyramid in when the market moves up $5, and then another $5, and so on, every half N. Now, this particular trader who is leading round two of the trading challenges, there's not necessarily a technique there, but he did pyramid in four times, and we do know in past history of his trading that he's also successfully added to these winning positions. But I wanna put some perspective on it, because as I mentioned, not every trading system lends itself to pyramiding into winning positions. For example, if you're a short-term trader and you have a one-to-one -one risk award profile, which means if you're looking for a $5 gain, you have a $5 loss, the smaller your risk reward relative to, from your stop to your win, so your R multiple. If your average win is one R multiple relative to your stop, then your trading system doesn't lend itself to pyramiding. And the reason for this is simple. You enter the position, and then as it moves in your favor, you've only got a tight uh, risk, uh, like a reward profile. So if you add to that position, the amount of scale where your position is averaged in is too high relative to where you're taking profit, and if it turns over, you've got too much riding on that position relative to where it could turn over and take you out. The key to pyramiding is having trend-based or trend-following trading setups. So the turtles were renowned for their trend-following systems. Curtis Faith wrote a book called The Way of the Turtle that illustrates and goes into trend-following systems, and he also wrote a very good book on trend-following systems, but pyramiding lends itself to trend-following systems. So let's say you've got on average, your reward is maybe one to two or one to three, you can definitely benefit statistically from adding at least one extra risk as the trade moves in your favor. So if you're on gold and it moves up $10, adding that second position nearly always adds to your bottom line profits. But if your system is trend following and you have the opportunity for what they call those 10 baggers, you know the ones where you, you're risking one R but you manage to get a 10R multiple win, then your system would be able to benefit from pyramiding in multiple times. But as always, you need to test these things and setting up a simple spreadsheet can actually help you achieve that. And you can see how relative to your risk reward profile, your R multiple profile of your trading system, it will help you identify how many times you can add to your winning positions when the trend unfolds. It's worth looking into. If this is something you're not familiar with, then definitely pick up 
Van Tarp's book on R multiples and Trade Your Way to Financial Freedom and is his book. And of course, anything to do with Curtis Faith, one of the original turtles, the trend following system and the way of the turtle are excellent books for you to consider to see how that might work for your trading strategy. So have you got a system that enables you to add multiple positions and pyramid it in, pyramid into your winning trades? Have a look, see for yourself. Uh, otherwise, if not, then don't add to winning positions because it just changes that profile a little bit too much and weights your average position too much. And if it turns over, that loss can be a little bit high relative to where the initial risk was taken. All right, hopefully you're able to uh, see how that fits in with your trading style. And of course, all the best with your trading. Thank you. Are you ready to take the challenge? Go to www.tradingcup.com to register.